The Fault series has a strange history of censorship that dates all the way back to its first installment in 1997. The UK and European versions of Fault were censored in several ways, but the most significant change is that children were removed to avoid any potential child killing controversy. It's worth noting that while you can kill children, you're not encouraged to in any way and are punished for it by losing access to quest and dialogue. As a result, the child killer perk became impossible to obtain, and the random bounty hunter encounter, which is triggered by killing children, also became inaccessible. Or at least you'd think that. Except children weren't cut out entirely, and whoever handled the localization just deleted their sprites from one of the game files. I'm guessing this was the quickest and most cost efficient method of ensuring the game's release in these regions. They can no longer be seen, but they're scripts still run, and they can comically be killed indirectly by using explosives. In this way, the child killer perk can still be attained even in versions where children don't appear. This change also created some bugs in the international versions that aren't present in the US release. Areas that once contained children like Shady Sands, The Hub, and The Boneyard became much emptier. Children are essentially irrelevant in the first game, but they still added to the atmosphere of several locations. Originally, the words chem and drug were used inter-exchangeably, but in the UK version, every instance of the word drug in dialogue was altered to chem. This ended up becoming a series standard, as drugs are usually referred to as chems in Fallout 3 and all games afterwards, though there are at least a few uses of the word drug in New Vegas. Instances of the word addiction were also replaced by craving, but unlike chems this term didn't catch on, and later games would continue to use addiction instead. Both the chem resistant and chem reliant pit boy images were replaced by a generic image that doesn't fit either trait. Each form of addiction had a corresponding Vault Boy image in the US version, but all of these were censored in the UK slash European releases. Some lines were even rewritten like the dialogue of the character Razor. In the US release, Razor will either say you bastard or you bitch depending on the player's gender. This was rewritten to a less offensive you ass in the UK version. These changes are significant in that the censored UK release is the version sold by both Steam and GOG. There are several patches that can be downloaded to restore censored content, but it's a shame you have to go out of your way to play the game as it was intended to be played. Fault has a language filter in the settings menu that censors words that could be considered offensive. Ironically, the Steam and GOG versions don't have any English words censored, just other languages. So if you turn the filter on and have English as your language, it has no effect. These words are contained in a text file called Bad Words, and some of the words in this list are unused. Their inclusion suggests they might have existed in dialogue at one point, and it's possible some of them were cut out of fear of censorship. On the other hand, maybe they never used these words in dialogue, and they were only added to the list as a precautionary measure. For the German versions of Fallout and Fallout 2, blood, the violent setting, and even some sound effects were removed. All of the death animations were cut out except for one, so even when attacking enemies with many guns or rocket launchers results in the same death. Finally, the execution scene during the intro cinematic was cut short and doesn't show the execution itself. Children were once again cut out of the UK and European versions of Fall 2, but it ended up having even more unintended consequences this time. There are some children at the den who steal from you as you pass by them. They still steal from you in the UK and European releases, they're just invisible now, as once again, only their sprites were removed. I genuinely have to wonder how many foreign players were stolen from and had no idea it happened. There is also a quest in MODOK that can't be completed in these versions since it involves children. Perhaps the most infamous instance of censorship is Fallout 2's original child killer icon. Brian Menzi, who drew all of the icons for both Fallout 2 and New Vegas, commented on this icon, stating, This image was unused and the only Vault Boy image to ever be cut from Fallout 2. 
I'm sure you can figure out why. I remember when I got the request to do a perk illustration for Child Killer that there would be no way to keep it from being offensive. I mean really, how do you make an illustration of Child Killer and keep it from being offensive? Anyway, for some reason, I thought this was the least offensive way of doing it. I have no idea what I was thinking. Even the designer who requested it realized it was a bad idea, so we nixed it. Looking back on it now, I can't believe I drew this. Thankfully, both the Steam and GOG versions of Fallout 2 do have children, but the game is still censored in a few notable ways. Again, perks with drug references are missing their original icon, and the use of the word drug was replaced by chem. However, this time addiction was replaced by the word reliant, or sometimes habit forming. Micro Forte's Fault Tactics was only censored in Germany, where violent death animations, blood, the violent setting, and characters being able to die from fire damage were all cut out. Fault 1, 2, and Tactics have a trait called Bloody Mess, which causes enemies to die ultra-violent deaths. These traits still appeared in the German releases, but had no effect since violent death animations were cut out. Fault 1 and 2 have cut images and descriptions for alcohol addiction, and it's possible these were cut out of fear of potential controversy. Consumables like beer and booze have a 20% chance of causing alcohol addiction. This would have decreased the player's agility and charisma by one for a week, but the addiction was never set up and can't be attained in either game. Alcohol addiction was set up in Fault Tactics, but none of the consumables have a chance of causing addiction, so again it couldn't be attained. This addiction would finally appear in Fault 3 and subsequent games, however. Prior to Fault 3's release, it was banned in Australia due to one of the chems being called Morphine. Australia's classification board refused to give Fault 3 a rating as it was quote, material promoting or encouraging prescribed drug use. In response, Bethesda renamed Morphine as Medex not only in Australia, but in every version of the game, which was ultimately the right decision. While previous games had referenced real-world drugs and dialogue, the drugs that could be used by the player always had fictional names apart from alcoholic consumables like beer. It would have been jarring to have sci-fi chems like Buff Out and Psycho, and then one random chem named after an actual drug. Making making this a rare example of censorship actually benefiting a game. While its original name was cut, its legacy lives on in the game files of both Fallout 3 and New Vegas, where MedX's editor ID and effects are still referred to as Morphine. The German version of Fallout 3 had blood, gore, dismemberment, and its iconic exploding heads removed. In Fallout 3, Bloody Mess was altered from a trait into a perk and given a small bonus to the player's attacks. In the German version, it still increases the player's damage but has no effect on how enemies die. The Japanese version also saw similar changes to violence but was altered even further. The quest The Power of the Atom revolves around detonating the bomb inside Megaton and was cut from the Japanese localization. Ironically, this made the settlement more believable, as it makes no sense to live in a town that has an undetonated atomic bomb in the center of it. Mr. Burke's entire character revolves around the power of the atom, and thus was also cut from the game, though his house does still appear. The Fat Man was also renamed as the Nuka Launcher, due to its original name referencing the atomic bomb dropped on Nagasaki, Japan. I can definitely understand this name change considering what it represents, but cutting the Megaton quest was a somewhat questionable decision. The detonation of the bomb at Megaton might be Fallout 3's most extreme display of nuclear destruction, but it's not as if Japanese media has shied away from post-apocalyptic depictions either. For the past 60 years, Japanese films like the 1954 Gojira, Dreams, and Akira have explored the exact same content that was cut out of Fallout 3. 
The Cannibal perk was first introduced in Fallout 3 and allows the player to eat the corpses of NPCs to regain health at the cost of losing karma. In Fallout 3, this perk wasn't altered in any localization, which makes what happened to the following game in the series even stranger. The Cannibalism perk was altered in the Japanese release of Fallout New Vegas and renamed as the Mystic Power perk. The cannibalism icon was also censored to remove blood and gore, leaving a nefarious vault boy that's casting a spell or something. The perk's description was altered as well, and a Steam user gave a rough translation of the Japanese text. By examining corpses during sneaking, you recover your physical strength with magic powers. However, whenever you do this, karma will be decreased and if you are witnessed by a person, you will be deemed a suspicious act. Despite the name, icon, and description changes, the ability and animation functions exactly the same as every other release. This makes you wonder why they even bothered changing it, but it's now canon to me that the courier is not only a great mailman, but also a fucking necromancer. It's also weird to me they changed the cannibal perk so drastically, but leave the newly introduced kamikaze trait untouched. The Fat Man was again renamed the Nuka Launcher in the Japanese release of New Vegas, but Obsidian also introduced a mod for it, the Fat Man Little Boy Kit, which reduces the weight of the weapon by 50%. The name Little Boy is a reference to the atom bomb dropped on Hiroshima, but despite this, the mod somehow escaped censorship in the Japanese release. Blood and Gore was again toned down for the German release of New Vegas, but it had yet another bizarre instance of censorship. During the intro cinematic, a NCR ranger snipes a fiend and the screen is covered in blood. This blood was removed from the intro of the German PS3 version, but for whatever reason this wasn't applied to the Xbox 360 or PC releases. Even stranger, the German release of the Game of the Year edition would then be released completely uncensored on all platforms, making this initial censorship entirely pointless. In what's hopefully a sign of things to come, Fallout 4 wasn't censored in any of its localizations in any way, joining 2004's Fallout Brotherhood of Steel and Fallout 76 as the only games in the series to actually escape censorship. As always, thank you so much for watching, and I hope you have an awesome day.